Welcome back to Daytime. Well, after going to the opening of Dance Legends in Drayton last night, I have decided I would love to be a dancer. I would especially love to have the legs of a dancer. We're getting into the summertime season. That means shorts, that means skirts, that means everything else. And we all want to have those great legs for the summertime. Well, we're going to help you achieve those great legs today. At least one of the two of us sitting up here is, and it's not me, but it is Eva Redpath, who happens to be the founder of Body Conditioning by Dancers. Wonderful to have you here. Thank you for having me. I think there's this real resurgence and in interest in dance, particularly thanks to shows mm -hmm. like So You Think You Can Dance, Canada right. Dancing with the Stars. I don't think we ever really thought of dance as an exercise before until we saw what these people are doing. Right. I think women in general have always sort of loved the dancer body, the long, lean muscles, toned and conditioned legs. And for me, toning from a dance training perspective is really a fun way of getting fit. Well, and you bring up an important point that you talk about toning. Mm -hmm. For women especially, that's a key thing because we don't necessarily want to build up bulk muscle. That's right. What we want when we're getting ready for swimsuit season is to just have that nice lean silhouette that you were talking about and that's often for toning. That's what we need. That's right. So my form of toning, we're just using our own body weight to challenge our muscles. I'm going to show you three exercises later that you can do anywhere, anytime. And you know, things are really changing. Women are realizing that they don't have to report to the gym to be active. There's lots of other fun ways of being fit and one way through the dance conditioning and doing toning exercises, which really you just can do in the comfort of your own home. Well, and anybody, one of the things you say is anybody can do this. Anybody right. can be a dancer. You may not end up on the stage, but anybody can dance. And when you think about it, we were doing it when we were one and two. Why That's can't right. we do it when we're 32 and beyond? Absolutely. And you know, it is summer, like you said, toning and conditioning the legs and having them smooth and sexy for summer is, you know, what everyone wants. We've spoken to thousands of Canadian women. And at BIC, we understand that smooth skin that looks great really helps with women's confidence throughout the summer, right? Be it from the busy day at the office to an afternoon relaxing at the beach and everything in between, BIC Soleil truly is giving women that that opportunity to feel fabulous for less. Absolutely, and when you, you're sitting out, in, especially in beach situations and that sort of thing, you just want those great legs and those nice smooth legs. And we're going to work on it a little bit we today. Are. We are. I say we because I'm going to work on it a little bit. You've already got it, but you, you've got three key exercises that you call them that, that sort of target all of the different leg groups that, were, that right. are really key. That's right. You know what? Every woman has her own unique way of feeling fabulous. So I've developed three love your leg exercises for Bixelay razors. All right. Should we give them a try? I would love that. Okay. Okay. So and these are incorporating some of the dance strategies that, that you teach. That's right. That's okay. right. So the first one, and feel free to try whatever exercise you want, but I don't mind demonstrating them for you. So this will be sort of like the before and after. So <laughs> we'll do it that way. Okay. So the first one, we're going to stand in a dance second position. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a plie. So we're going to go all the way into the depth of our plie, toning the quads and working our turnout muscles, right? So that incorporates okay. the inner thigh the quad and going into the glute. So you're going to okay. take it all the way down and you're going to hold for a three count. My two, all the way might not three, be as far down as and your that's all the fine. way. That's yes, right. right. Like I said, everybody has their unique body shape, so you can do whatever you want that fits for you. As long okay. as you feel the burn, then you're going to be working it. Oh, it's burning all right. Okay, Excellent. That's fine. It's Excellent. Fine. Okay. So that's to tone and condition the quads. And if you want to get fancy, what we can do is we can pop the heels up at the very bottom. <laughs> we can. Right? And that's okay. going to tone and condition. You can see how that <laughs> fires on the cat. Jay's standing off set getting ready to catch me. Should I fall over well, at any moment? Now, and that's a second. great point. Right? Not only are we working the legs, but we've got other things going. Your, your core has to fire on, so it's a core stability exercise at the same time. Right. Right? Now, if you were just starting, though, could you start with maybe a chair in the back just Absolutely. to give you your stability at first? I think that's a down? great okay. idea. Yes, it is. Okay. okay, so the next one for the calves, also a really important feature of the leg. So this one, I'm just going to take a staggered stance. You can have your feet in parallel if you'd like. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to rise up on the ball of our feet and we're going to activate the calf and squeeze it on at the same time. So again, stand up tall, hold your core, you're going to rise up, balance, hold, lower back down. Probably the next hint I should give people is you shouldn't be in heels when you're doing this right. Running shoes are really right. more appropriate footwear for this. I feel that might be a little added bonus though today. 
Okay. Excellent. So we're going to fire on the good. calves and feel that there. And the final one, and I'll show you this one, it's a little bit of cardio incorporated here. It's a plyometric jump. I'm calling it saute, so we're actually jumping. And you're going to start with your feet sort of in a dance first position, turned out. And you're going to leap forward and land in a bigger position, so I'll demonstrate this for you. And then I'm going to tap the floor and come back. Yeah? Maybe leap, show me one more time. Land, there we go. Back. In case. Leap, land, and back. So... <laughs> yes! That's terrific! Good for you! Yes, thank you. That was my dancing <laughs> debut. Beautiful, beautiful. That was as good as it gets. Now, how many times should we be doing these daily to get the leg look? Should we be? Right. I think whatever's realistic for you. Take a look at your schedule and see when you can fit exercise into your busy schedule. And the thing is, you could do this once a week, three times a week. I, the point here is that anything is better than not doing anything at all, right? Right. And like you said, these are simple things that don't require, it doesn't require a gym. It doesn't nope. require workout equipment. It's easy that you could even stand up in the middle of a work day. That's right. At your desk and, and do them and get that extra workout mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Now, having said that, if everybody's not a beginner like me, your body conditioning by dancers that you do does really step things up for people too it if does. they want more of a, an in-depth workout. It does. I run my sessions in an eight week period of time with any type of healthy living and active lifestyle. It requires commitment, right? Be it your diet or your exercise routine or taking care of yourself. I feel like that's really important as well. Feeling beautiful because there's nothing more important and nothing more attractive than a woman who feels great about herself. And I often think that when you take that first step, it, it just automatically makes you feel good about yourself because you're doing something and it takes time to get, to get those summer legs that we all want. Mm -hmm. that, and when you're talking about toning and conditioning, that takes a little time. But once you've started, yeah. it does sort of lift the confidence and you automatically feel better about you yourself. Do. You do. Wonderful. Well, you can find out more about Eva by going to her website. You can also find out more about the new Bic Soleil, which is a great razor to give us those smooth legs that we want for the summertime as well by going to the, their website. Yes, ca.bicworld.com. And find out more about it. and. Work on getting those summer legs that you want, and maybe we'll finish off by doing some more of the exercises that we started with Let's Eva and get doing, and I'll work on my summer legs. And we'll be back with more daytime in just a moment, so stay with us. Mm -hmm. Very nice.